Hello, it's Mark Ryan. I'm going to give you a tutorial on using the EZ8A Federal Sales Tool. This is to help you determine the size of the federal market for your certification in your state. So for each certification out there, whether it just be small business, woman-owned, service-disabled, veteran-owned, hub zone, or 8A, we give you a sense for that certification in your state how many contractors there are that have that certification, how many dollars they contracted with the 8A uh, or with the government using that certification the prior year, and then what the average amount was per contractor. So first you select the certification you're wanting to research, and then you put in a description of the industry that you're in, or if you know your primary NACE code, you, you just put in your primary NACE code. In this case, I'm going to do general contracting. and hit the go button. Since I didn't put in a NACE code, uh, it's going to give me a result of all the NACE codes out there that have general contracting in their description. So as I search down here, you'll see uh, you know, this description has general contractors in its description, commercial institutional building. I happen to know 236220 is what I want to go after. That is the main code for general contracting, so I select it. Again, you'll see where it says, please wait down in the bottom corner there. Give it two or three seconds to refresh. All right. Now the results it's giving me, you know, it's going to be comparing 8A to just small businesses. So that's why this says 8A all the way down it, and this says small business all the way down it. I'm in Ohio. I live in Cincinnati. So my interest is going to be to come down to Ohio and say, okay, there's 27, or over the last year, there's been 27 8A general contractors in the state of Ohio. Those 27 firms did 40.4 million in sales, averaging 1. Point, almost 1.5 million per company. Um, if I scroll to the right, I can see that in Ohio there were 125 small businesses that were doing federal contracting that were federal general contractors last year. And they did a total of $180 million in sales an average of 1.4 million each. So since I'm in Cincinnati, I'm, I'm not just going to look at Ohio. I'm going to take a quick look at Kentucky, see what my size is there. There's another, another 17 8A construction firms in Kentucky doing 1.7 million each for a total of 30. And look at Indiana, since that's also within uh, easily within my service territory, there's another 11 general contractors, 8A certified general contractors there with uh, 10.6 million in sales averaging a million each. Now I can, can look at uh, compare that to just small businesses. So that's what the results are. Let's just do another quick example. Let's say I am going to contrast that to service-disabled veteran-owned, or let's say I'm also service-disabled veteran-owned. I now know my code is 236220, so I'm going to put that in and give it a second or two to give us the results. I already know I'm doing 236220, but you do have to click on it again anyway. And now we can take a quick search in Ohio. There's 37 SDVOSB certified firms in Ohio that did some federal contracting last year. They did $75 million in federal contracting for an average of $2 million each. Again, the same 125 small business federal contractors. Uh, Indiana, 17 SDVOSB firms for an average of $2 million each, a little over, the $34 million total. And Kentucky, 16, actually a little less than Indiana, SDVOSB firms for an average of $1.5 million. So that's how you use this tool to get a sense of how much value am I going to get out of this certification in my area uh, and for whatever my specific NACE code is and how you can look up those NACE codes. We look forward to working with you.